that they, that they had on. And so that became, the Pahutukawa tree became a royal tree to them. We talk about Tangaroa in the chart, and Tangaroa is the god of the ocean, like it is to many of the Polynesian people. Tangaroa, Tangaroa, Tangaroa. Now, whenever you get together, and we get together in instances like this, my uncle would say, leave these people with something to remember you by. And so I would chant to you a proverb in Maori, and then I'll get off for somebody else. But let me just say, our old people would say, and interpreted it means, let the calm be widespread. Let the sea glisten like the green stone of jade. And may the shimmer of summer dance across your pathway forever. And our Maori say, and I bid you aloha and greetings and we say in New Zealand, Kia ora. Thank you for listening to me today and I hope you've learned a few things about Aotearoa New Zealand. Another nice hat for Winton, huh? A little insight into our culture. Winton, thank you very much, brother. Winton is a an accountant. He's uh, practically a, C he's a CPA, huh? Very close, very close. But he does uh, a lot of auditing for some of the big companies here. Graduated from BYU. BYU has one of the finest accounting schools in the nation. So how about a nice hand again for Winton? This is one of the things that we want to do is, of course, share with you where we came from. Now, he talked about, uh, he talked about uh, New Zealand, and if you understand that we all come from a, a group of islands called the Polynesian Triangle. New Zealand is the southernmost corner of the triangle. Hawaii is the top of, uppermost co corner of the triangle. And Easter Island, which is closest to Peru, is the other corner. And all of us, all of the islands inside of this triangle in the Pacific, are Polynesian islands. So that's, now you begin to get a, a, a little bit of a scale as to where we come from, okay? Hawaii is the topmost part of the triangle, then the southernmost part of the triangle is New Zealand, which you just heard about, and then of course, Easter Island, which is Peru. Now we're gonna be moving to Hawaii. Hawaii is a very special place. Hawaii is where I grew up, and Hawaii is probably the, the place that is, was most, was first, a, 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 approached by the Western world. Why? Because America had to go to Hong Kong to get trade, to trade with Hong Kong, just as we became a nation here about 1777, you know, you know after the Revolutionary War against the English. The English were never good colonizers anyway. So, so what happened is, when we became a nation as America, then we needed to establish trade. And one of the best places to, try, to establish trade was the Far East, in Hong Kong. So, in order to get to Hong Kong, they had to stop in Hawaii. So then Hawaii became one of the places by which the Western world runs through. And so Hawaii becomes the place where all of us mix together. There's a very special saying in Hawaii, that in Hawaii, we're not white, we're not black, we're not red, we're not yellow. We're beige. Yes. See, it all, it's not perfect, but it all comes together. It goes with everything. So it'll come to you when you get home, don't worry about it. So. Auntie Clara is going to now take us into Hawaii, right? Ta oh, Tahiti. Tahiti. Yes, that's, that's where they got the, 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 the idea to put the engine in the back of the Volkswagen. Yeah. Yeah. They, well, think about it. It'll come to you. So, Auntie, this is yours. Actually, it's Leonis. Uh, wait five minutes. Good, because we're going to knock the generator out and move them over to Hong Kong so the sound not too loud. So take a break. You can talk among yourselves.
housing's coming down. There you go. We're helping us. Sleep. I'll be right there. Oh, you're 10 feet tall. You can move. Oh, and you're going to be to Okay. Now we have to ask you to evacuate just a while, a little bit. Yeah, ready to go. Just take your chairs nicely and go to the right exit. Right exit. <laughs> <laughs> now we have a fight. We're going to be raw. You can try that. Well, everybody's getting ready. There's a wonderful story about how Yosefa got his name. A lot of people think that Yosefa was named after Joseph Smith, the prophet. Actually, it wasn't. It was named after Joseph Fielding or Joseph F. Smith, who was sent on a mission to Hawaii around about the time he was 15 years old. He was the grandson or nephew, rather, the nephew of the prophet. And he was kind of a... Kind of a uh, Hawaiians have a word called Olohe, kind of a rascal, kind of a boy. So they sent him to a, on a mission right away and when he was 15 to Hawaii. And while he was there, he got extremely ill, being very close to death. And then one of the Hawaiian tutus, grandmothers, took care of him and nursed him back to health. And then he, as a result of that, and a result of working with the people in Hawaii, acquired a great love and affection for the people in the island of Hawaii. And so when the people came here to Yosefa, Yosefa then named after Yosef of Sin. So that's how the name comes about. And you must also realize that it's uh, Hawaiians that saved that prophet from dying at the age of 15. And so we have a very close connection, very close to connection to the presidency as a result, as a result of the uh, other uh, of, of, of uh, Joseph F. Smith coming to the commission in, in, in over there, in Hawaii. So, <laughs> yeah, so how about a nice hand to the Hawaiian tutu that saved Joseph F. Smith when he got very, very ill. I just thought I would drop that on you. Hawaiians are the Okuli. The Hawaiians are the Bully. Ahiti. Colonized by the French. As a result, Ahiti is very heavily influenced by the French as New Zealand is very heavily influenced by the English, Samoa is very heavily influenced by the Germans and the English by way of New Zealand. And Hawaii, of course, is very heavily influenced by America because it was the American missionaries, there were Protestant missionaries, Congregational missionaries that came to Hawaii, who were the first missionaries to come to Hawaii, and we came later on, 1850 or so. That is, when, when I say we, I mean as the Mormons. that I made.